Hello Spartans, I'm back and I'm going to now do the part two portion of our maze game tutorial as you can see. As you can see I have maze game part one here and so we're going to do maze game part two uh, so that uh, we know how to add an additional scene as well as import sound to our maze. Okay, so we'll go ahead and start. And um, first thing I'm going to do is go up to the word insert. And that would be up here in the menu bar. And there you see the word scene. Pretty easy to do. You just go ahead and click scene, and you will see a blank stage. Now, how do you get back to scene one? Well, you just come over down here below and you see that little icon that looks like one of those clappers that a director's assistant would use to uh, signify when a scene begins and when it ends. And so uh, there you go. So you have the drop down menu. Scene two is being checked and here's scene one. So I'm going to go back to scene two. So on scene two, we're going to go ahead and make that second maze for your uh, user. So your user made it through the first level. And now they are going to go on to the second level. OK, so I'm just going to approach this the same way I've done. I'm going to make a rectangle. And um, I lost my panel. There it is. I tend to do that. Let me bring it up here. All right, I'm going to make this again 550, tab 400, tab 0, tab 0, and enter. And that gives me the same size. And again, I'm going to just quickly erase through it. And this time I will make a square. Give, give me nice, clean lines. And Again, I'm just going to sort of erase through here, make it an easy example. And there we go. Now, next thing I need to do, hold shift and select all the parts and go to converting a symbol F8. Call this maze 2 since I already have one called maze 1. I'll do the upper left registration, make sure it's a button, click OK. All right, so maze one on layer one, I'll just make sure to call that maze. And then above that, this is going to be my cursor. And now I all, already have a cursor. I'm going to use the same one. I'm going to drag that over. Again, make sure you have that new layer for it. I'll go ahead and put the code on this cursor, so I'll do uh, F9. Now the code itself goes on the frame, and so I'm going to go ahead and select that frame for cursor, and it's going to be M-O-U-S-E dot hide, open close parentheses, and then a semicolon, next line would be start, drag, uppercase D, open parentheses, and then we'll go to, uh, oh, I'm sorry. And then we're going to go to the cursor name. So I'm going to call this cursor. Uh, this actually, I'm sorry, this is the instance name. Comma, space, true. Closed uh, parenthesis and semicolon. Uh, nope, no semicolon. Um, OK. There's no semicolon here as well. so. That should be the correct action script. All right, uh, let's go ahead and test the movie. And I believe I'm going to need a stop in that frame. So let's see, it'll probably flash. Ah, yes. Actually, nothing's going to come up yet because I have not put code on this next level. So I'm going to do that now. So what do I need to do? I need to go into scene one, frame three to find that button which I have not made yet. So you can see all my buttons down here in the library. I'm going to need a next level button. So I'm going to go ahead and select all, F8, 
I'm going to call this next level. I, I like to just name the button the same as the symbol, or vice versa. I like to put the symbol name the same as the actual button label. And I'm going to do center registration, click OK. And I'm going to put some action script. Okay. Now, easy way to do this is to go into my assignment page. Let me scroll all the way up here. Assignment. And it's going to probably take longer than if I would rather or if I were to just hand code this. And I think I'm going to do that. Okay. So really what this is is an on press and open curly and then I'm going to go to and stop and now I'm going to type in the scene number this is scene 2 make sure there's quotations around that and then frame 1 close it semicolon and close curly okay semicolon close curly alright check that action script is good I'm going to remember now go to scene 2 and on this same area as the mouse hide action script, I will put STOP open close parentheses and semicolon. Okay, now it should work. Let's cross our fingers, try again. Okay, I'm just going to go through this. Oh, let me go through it a little bit better. Okay, touch the goal, play again. That's good. Goal, okay, I cheated. You saw that. Next level. Ah, there it is. Now, I notice that my cursor is not moving, and that's because I didn't put a instance name on that cursor. So here I am. Just type that in right in here, as you can see. And don't forget to do that. You you did it on the first frame. If you use the same cursor, you do it on this first scene. But that doesn't mean that instance name is there uh, again. So now let's check it out. See if it works. Next level. Ah, there it is. Okay. Obviously, I would put code on this. Uh, put another goal here. Tell my user that they win, won the whole game. Um, you know, if you went into, let's say, scene one here and maybe wrote, you win the first level, and then they see the, the button here that says next level, that, that implies, or just, you know, obviously that you have another level to the game. Okay, and so then scene two, frame one, I would probably go to the second frame here and do F7. Um, and let me do that again, F7. And then I'll remove or clear that keyframe, that empty one. And then in here I'll put you lose, again because you hit the maze, that's a button, it's gonna take us to the losing frame. Okay? All right, the last thing I need to do, and I have to do this fairly quickly, I'm going to go ahead and go back to scene one, and I'm going to go back to the maze. I'm going to put sound on the maze. Now, I did leave a link. As you know, as you might remember, sound for your maze. So we're going to go in here and choose partners in rhyme. The other one doesn't seem to uh, be helpful because we can't seem to get those files in. So go to Partners in Rhyme, click on Free Sound Effect, and choose your noise. Uh, let's see. A bomb is always good, but I'm going to go try something else. Let's see. Record Scratch, that sounds fun. Let's see how that, let's see how that sounds. Someday we'll get it. Fortunately, my, uh, my computer is slowly processing as I have several things open at the same time. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and come back. Okay, I'm back. So now um, I decided the uh, scratch was not quite the sound I needed or want. It was very annoying. Uh, please don't choose annoying sounds if you can help it at all. <laughs> okay, so this is what I have. I like that. So when you bump into the wall, that's what you're going to hear. So I'm going to go ahead and it says right click on the link above and choose save target as, but as you know from earlier classes, you're going to just choose save link as. So I'm going to go ahead and click that, save it on your desktop. You don't need it. Once you import it, you don't need it. 
So don't be afraid that it's not going to be there the next day because you don't need it. All right. All right, so it looks like it's already downloaded. I'm going to go back to my flash. Uh, I want it on the actual maze button. So you've got to double click whatever button that you're putting sound on. I want it on the over state. So I'm going to do, go ahead and do F6. Now I'm going to go ahead and do File, Import, Import to Library. Okay. Wait for it. And. Uh, okay. Someday. I think I'm going to have to pause. Oh, I don't have to pause. There it is. Okay. As you can see, I have a few things in here. Let's see, eSparks, that's it. You can double click it or highlight and click open. And hopefully this won't take too long. Oh, my, my. So, how about those Dodgers? Okay. All right, looks like it's in there. And yes, there it is, eSparks WAV file. It is a WAV file. And you merely need to just drag it on top of that stage, right on top of that button can see the, the sign of uh, the wave, um, I don't know, what, what is that, a frequency wave, right, a sound wave, okay. Now I am going to, uh, well, I guess I can test my movie, so let's see how this looks, see how it sounds, and for some reason, let's see, let me uh, see if I can get a, big, a bigger view, there it is, okay. So I am, oh, yep, looks like it looks like it works. Okay, uh, this one's pretty annoying as well. Okay, so you get the idea, hopefully, and then you could put a sound on the goal if you wish. You know, maybe I'll put in another one, uh, but that takes time, and you know how to do it. Have fun with this. I hope I hope this second tutorial helped. I hope you utilize the videos because, again, it doesn't have to be hard. And when you don't understand something, you should refer to the videos. It is that much more fun when you know what you're doing. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.